Vamos. Hey guys, it's AJ. Hey, it's Yearn. And we're back live in the studios and separately in America and the Netherlands. Yeah, and in living color. Oh yeah, it's live and baby live and in living color. Um, and we're here today for the finals of our first ever tournament, being fictional heroes. And uh, there's been a lot and of AJ's very excited. I'm very excited. I'm pumped for this. I was looking forward to this. I was. I've gone. Do you think I, we could fill an hour with just this? No, probably not. But that's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, what I was thinking as yeah, well. I was like, but that, that's okay. We can fill an hour. I'm not sure if it'll all be the subject, but I'm very excited. Yeah. Like you want to know? I can't. I gotta make sure she's not in the room because, as you guys all know, I smuggled a Portuguese girl back into the country. Okay, she's not in the room. I'm. I over the past two weeks, I was announced for Bloodsport, and I got engaged, and I've been more excited for this. What's Bloodsport? Is uh, that that movie with Jean Claude Van Damme? Yeah, I was. I'm. I'm cast in that. Damn, are they doing a remake, dog? No. <laughs> yeah. That would you be amazing. You, 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 you that jacked up Asian guy? Yeah. <laughs> fucking, fucking Hollywood, bro! I swear to God, they're whitewashing everything. First they, first they make Scarlett Johansson the ghost in the shell, and now they make Alexander James of all people the jacked up Asian from Bloodsport. That's fucking crazy. I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> no, uh, it's a uh, the collective weekend from WrestleMania is rescheduled to uh, October eleventh, tenth, and ninth. And I went reverse, and that was weird. In Indianapolis, Indiana, and Bloodsport is the kind of like ambition style show ran by Josh Burnett, who's a UFC Hall of Famer. Oh, I know who Josh Burnett is. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that, but that's just how excited I am. Is that a, is, is that a big thing though? It is. At least it is oh. over here. Okay. I don't know. Big for me, I guess. I wanted to do it, so. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so. Our finals. Oh, also, let's address. Uh, also, yeah. congratulations on getting engaged. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Funny. Like, I, I never said that, but the the also the thing is like you already told me like beforehand, so I was yeah. just like I, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Kelly actually brought it up. It was either Kelly or I. She was like, "You're unliked everything," but he hasn't. Has he said something to you? And she's like, "He's like when he, he's like your best friend." I was like, "Yeah, I'm not worried about it," because <laughs> I figure it was one of two things. One, you weren't gonna say anything because you were just gonna say anything later or like whenever it was around. Because uh, we had already yeah. talked about it, because that's just you. Or two, yeah. you weren't saying anything on purpose to be funny. <laughs> I mean, I I don't see the humor in just not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it was also a thing of like, you know, like because you had told me beforehand, and I was just like, oh yeah, like that's cool, <laughs> you know. So for me, it, it was also a thing like I couldn't. I couldn't imagine Callie saying no. Oh, that's sweet, I think. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so so I was just like, yeah, like I like I don't know. Like I already knew it was gonna happen, so yeah. <laughs> why would I congratulate? Yeah, yeah, I mean? that's, that's entirely what I figured. So like and I, and, and I, I also think like especially like publicly, you know, like doing it like over Twitter and all that kind of shit. I always think that's fucking wiggity wiggity whack oh yeah 100 percent. because because well, it's just 100%. like okay okay like this is like this is you guys' thing you know like this yeah. is like your like little moment let me fucking retweet it and say congratulations <laughs> so i can make it about me yeah but no i make uh, that just me through the whole thing i was just kind of like i mean you're in you're in wouldn't do that anyway he would say it in person to me and give me like a big old hug and then tell me not to tell anybody about this or he'd fucking kill me yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I love the <laughs> swallowing beforehand before you said, "Yep, that's true." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why did Julian with a good point? Yeah, nobody could imagine Kelly saying no, but why did AJ ask though? <laughs> I like that. that is a that is a good point. I could just throw in the ring and been like, put that on, <laughs> and then explosions in the background. Just throw the ring case in her face. I'll have to send you a picture. Have fun of, with that. <laughs> I'll have to send you a picture of the ring case. You'll, you'll, you'll be impressed with it. I think. Maybe not, but you'll be like, "Oh, that's a good idea." 
Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, like. But anyway, I'll have to see. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to the subject at hand. Yeah. The finals of the Hero Tournament, and it's come down to the big bad Uber Daddy, Obi Wan Sex God Kenobi, and <laughs> yeah. the How Did This Happen turn of events Disney Killer. Solid Snake. Ah, uh, yeah, he did go on a Disney killing spree. That's he, right. He did. He he killed Mulan. I got the I got the thing in my drawer right here. This official piece of paper. I'll, I'll make sure to send a picture of it so you can see my sloppy ass fucking handwriting. Um, <laughs> and I'll, I'll tweet it out when my when my the Crown Gaming Twitter is no longer suspended. Thanks, Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, Solid Snake went through Mulan, then went through Hercules. Yeah. And then went through Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which are not Disney, but close enough. Yeah, I mean, like they could be Disney, dude. Like, give me a fucking break, you know? Like, eventually, they could be, like, eventually Disney. <laughs> Teenage will Mutant Ninja, Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles could be working staff for the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. You know, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Working staff. <laughs> Michael, be, yeah, Michelangelo, be, go yeah, get me my yeah. Michelangelo, go be, get me my brush, you bitch. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like it's just fucking, you know, they're just yucking it up with like Cogsworth and Lumiere or whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> and then Gaston comes in and it makes fucking turtle soup out of him. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as Gaston does. But real quick before we get to, into the the debate and whose side is on who and 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 so forth with our yes. with our proof and our lawyers and. Uh, conjecture and other 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 words here um exciting news is the podcast is not only going to be available on youtube and live from now on uh we're now available on spotify yes if you go on to spotify don't sound too excited if you go on to spotify <laughs> if you go on to spotify and look up gruesome to some pod you can go ahead and hit follow and you can get all the updates and it will be released every thursday this one will be released this thursday possibly we are still waiting approval on itunes and other platforms of which you listen to podcasts but we are now available on audio platforms so yeah yeah so if you miss an episode that should be, uh, you know, should yep. be, <laughs> should be easier to catch up. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually like, oh yeah, I just I'm looking it up. Like, there's a different Groups and Tucson podcast. What? Like. Yeah, is there? Yeah. Do they want to get their fucking? <laughs> oh my god! Do they want to get hit? <laughs> That's funny. That's right. There's probably sucks. I mean, ours doesn't. No. Uh, uh, well, the past two, the past two, I would. Oh yeah, I actually found it. Okay. Just, oh yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely there, guys. I'm downloading Spotify right now, <laughs> to, you know, to make this a reality. I'm signing in with my Facebook. Um, okay. Also, I want to say a little something okay. before we before we start this. I've seen. A couple of comments, all right, judging our choices for like who who won, who lost in this like fictional hero tournament bullshit, and you know they're judging it. They're not agreeing with it. Some people say fucking Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh should have beat Obi Wan fucking Kenobi, and. I got to say, dude, all you people that think that, shut the fuck up, all right? This is our tournament, not yours, <laughs> even though AJ promised viewer participation in this week's, like, final. But <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, though. Everything that we came up with and every, like, decision we made was made with calculated rhyme and reason, all right? So don't try to fucking question us. We know what's up. All right? That's, that's all I'm going to say. Strong words. Strong words. Yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> 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 all right. There we go. Um, uh, oh, Jesus. 
Uh, well, Miles Oracle says, I know AJ said one thing, but dot, 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 fuck AJ. Jeez, thanks, Oracle. Uh, I mean, I don't disagree I don't, with that. I didn't think you did. But anyway, let's get down to it. Are we going to pick a side and argue the case either or, or are we just going to just spitball it? I think we just spitball it. It's kind of how we've done it so far. Yeah, that's fair. So far, I feel like so far going into this, I feel like Kenobi has the has the advantage. He has the high ground. He you might say he does have the high. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, so Kenobi. Here's the thing, though. Like, the, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm roll with it. It is that I think we we brought this up kind of like as this final was set up that the like um and as you brought up earlier on this like episode that solid snake ha has been on like a disney killing spree and obi-wan kenobi technically is part of disney 100 percent because star wars is a part of disney so maybe snake has the advantage right now which is hard for me to say because I feel like Obi Wan Kenobi is my one true love, but um, yeah, that's something to consider. Fair I guess. enough. So Solid Snake. So let's let's go through the positives for Solid Snake real quick. Let's go through what he's got going for him. He has the access to Metal Gears. Um, he is literally a clone of the uh, top secret agent man in this fictional world of you know Hideo Kojima. Uh, he is like the born natural super soldier. He's 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 the bee's knees when it comes to killing and espionage and, and sneaking. Um, he's access to an artillery of weapons. He's stealthy as shit. His close combat, like within you know a foot of a person, cannot be cannot be matched or defeated. Uh, he's gone up against supernatural foes before. Uh, I, I would, I guess, I like could, Shrek. Like Shrek. Well, I, <laughs> no, I don't. I, I no, he didn't fight Shrek. Did yeah, he? No. no, I don't. I, I don't necessarily. No, I don't necessarily mean within the tournament, but like within his oh. his fictitious world. Um. He, oh, Jesus, he was at one point voiced by Keith or Sutherland. That's pretty cool. He was in Super Smash Brothers. He was in Super Smash Brothers. You know, he's not. So he, he fought a giant penguin wielding a hammer at one point. That's talking about King BDD. That's that's some shit right there. <laughs> uh, that's next level experience, that's dog. Next level. Um, and what else? What else? What else? You don't know a lot about the Metal Gear franchise, do you? No. Okay, so this is gonna be mostly me. Um, yeah. What else has he got? I'll let you handle the Obi Wan version. He's. Mm, what else? He's got. He's got Ride in his backup, maybe. We can go with that. You did play Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, I know about Raiden. Yeah. I also know about Jetstream Sam, but Jet like that, <laughs> that's, not, that's an ally of Snake. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what that's what Solid Snake's got going for him. Let me know what, what's, what's Obi-Wan got. What's he bring to I the mean, table? <laughs> uh, besides his, like... You know, insanely good looks and incredible charm. You know, Obi Wan, of course, brings years of not just combat experience, but experience in war. You know, and you bring you bring up uh, all the Metal Gears and stuff. Like Obi Wan has been face to face with the most dangerous of machinery, and as you know, he has piloted plenty of uh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> spacecrafts and stuff before as well so he has plenty of experience taking that stuff out yeah you know i mean uh besides that you know he's a well-trained jedi he was trained by one of the best ever in qui-gon jim aka liam neeson you know mm -hmm. like what more can you ask for so you'd say liam neeson is his backup i wouldn't say that qui-gon's fucking dead yeah <laughs> <laughs> But um, I, it depends on like what version of Obi Wan Kenobi we're going with. I picture Revenge of the Sith. Number that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. Okay. So, but that, would you then have because in Revenge of the Sith, obviously a lot of stuff happens as well. So, would you then have him 
uh, being backed up by Anakin or him being backed up by Yoda? Because I feel like those are the two options. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Mace Windu ain't nobody's backup. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Sam Hill. Sam, Mace, Mace, Mace Windu flies solo. Sam, Here's the thing. Sam Hill Jackson don't, don't play know. second fiddle. <laughs> also, for you guys that don't know, at, like Mace Windu didn't die. All right. The, the fall out of the window when he got electrocuted by Palpatine. Spoilers for everybody who hasn't fucking seen a movie from 2005. <laughs> you know? But the fall didn't kill him, it just gave him amnesia. So he just became like Space Shaft on Coruscant. <laughs> became Space Shaft. <laughs> so don't worry about Windu. Okay? <laughs> don't worry about Windu. So it's either Anakin or Yoda. That's his backup. I think I think we have to go go with Anakin. I feel like it's a more classic duo. It's a more right? classic duo, but pos- but I think he's I think Obi Wan Kenobi's gonna need that aggression. Because, like, as you said before, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Star Wars universe is not a skilled fighter as much as he is defensive with a saber. I mean, he like, he is very skilled. He's just, like, not a natural-born fighter. Yeah. So he's had to hone his skills for years on end and, um, you know, mold them in a very defensive manner. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of why that comes about. Okay, okay, okay. And then, of course, at the end of the day, he uh, has the Jedi's trump card, which is called the Force. True that, true that. He is a warlock. Yes. A space warlock. I don't, like, you haven't seen Clone Wars. I have not. Have you, AJ? Not yet, no. Uh, there's a scene in the final season of the Clone Wars, which... Uh, it's very cool, <laughs> but it's of a force wielder against a bunch of non force users and he has no weapons and he brutally murders all of them <laughs> and it's really fucking cool, but a big part of the reason like why I bring this up is because it shows like the power of those that can wield the force versus those who can't kind of in a similar way that the Vader scene from rogue one does, you know, like the hallway scene, yeah, which is like what, the best scene in rogue one. Mm-hmm. But, uh, dude, it's so yeah. good. It's so good. Can we talk it's about so- that for a second? We should talk about that. I don't know about like right now, but like <laughs> we should definitely talk about yeah. that. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> I, I honestly like I sometimes think about that scene and then I'm just like, man, I want to watch that scene again, but I need to watch the entire movie. Right? Because that's one so of the, that's one of the, the few, entire build up to the scene. Yeah. That's one of the few new Star Wars movies, especially spin off movies, that have actually been good. It was so yeah. well done and so true to everything. And then like you know, Darth Vader gets fantasized a lot and put in the limelight and like really kind of like blown up as this like you know folklore character to look up to but then that scene yeah. kind of reaffirms no darth vader is a menacing killing badass that that's a that's the thing man like um rogue one does really well what like for example clone wars and star wars rebels which i finished today uh-huh. do really well as well which is that they uh you know they create new stuff like in the universe, yeah, you know, basically like in the Star Wars universe and everything. Yeah, but they don't fuck with stuff that's been established. Yeah, so they don't mess anything up. Yeah, you know I mean, like in the fucking sequel trilogy. And anything crea- uh, anything created doesn't go against what they've already done. Yeah, exactly. Which is like, which is why that Vader scene is so cool because it, like you said, reaffirms that vader's a fucking badass mm. which is what they do in rebels as well like something they do in rebels really well which is like i'm not gonna spoil it for you aj but uh like obviously vader's in it because it's what you know, <laughs> yeah who would have figured um but um vader's in it but it's the thing of like they something they do really well in that show is like they have a couple of like characters that come back from you know other 
trilogies or franchise or whatever, like in Star Wars, right? Mm-hmm. And they establish so well just like power levels, basically. It's like, oh, this guy does well against this guy, but then, you know, and then nobody fucks with Vader in that show. Mm-hmm. Like, like nobody comes close to Vader. And like it even like gets like uh, put over the top where it's just like the first time Vader shows up, like um, the f- four sensitive characters of the show basically go like, oh, it feels cold in here. Like that just like everything around them, like even the feeling around them changes. Almost like when a ghost shows up. Yeah. Yeah. But just, this is because of fucking how wicked Vader is, you know? That's okay. Now and Obi Wan beat that ass. <laughs> okay, so okay, we, we <laughs> man, you really rounded that back, didn't you? Uh, so yeah, Obi Wan. Well, I mean, later Obi Wan didn't. No, but the Obi Wan we're talking about. The Obi Wan we're talking about. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, if you want to be real clear about this, Obi Wan's the one that put that dude in a, in a breathing tube. Okay, let's just. Yeah, let's call it what it is. This spacesuit is so he can breathe and function and live, and Obi Wan put him there. Yeah. Uh, so we've kind of we've kind of stacked up what each has going for him. What's what's the atmosphere? What's the surroundings? Where where is it that this showdown is taking place? <sighs> That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of like. Clone Wars battlefields, basically. Okay. I mean, you could do like the Battle of Geonosis. Yeah, but hmm. I know. And then, like, Snake is on like the Separatist side. <laughs> now, what about, uh, and like, maybe I'm actually saying it. Uh, the Battle of Geonosis is one again. It's the, for people that don't know. Oh, well, in, uh, uh, Episode two, Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme are all held up on a planet by Count Dooku, and they get put in this like big arena ring. Mm-hmm. And then all the Jedi show up to save them because like all the separatists are there. That's Geonosis. Okay. I just wanted to confirm because that's where I thought I figured the battle should take place as well. Yeah. Which you could also say puts Obi-Wan an advantage because it's home field advantage, even though it's not his home, it's just his universe. Uh, but also, Snake ain't got no place to yeah, hide. He's been there arena. a couple of times. True, yeah. true, 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 true. And Snake, yeah. ha- Snake has no place to hide. No. But here's the thing, though, because like this is something I was going to bring up as well. Do you think Snake would be able to hide from Obi-Wan in general? Because like Snake, like obviously, like I know, I know he's like he's like a big like sneaker. Yeah, you know? he's a sneaky, but sneaky oh, boy. He's a sneaky son of a bitch. What can I tell you? <laughs> but uh, as we've brought up countless times before, Obi Wan has the Force, so he can just sense him. Oh you know yeah, I mean? like they can do that. It's true. <laughs> hmm. So. Yeah, hmm. I think his sneaking ways would not uh, have a lot of effect. So this is cer- Obi Wan. This is certainly happening face to face. There's no sneaking. There's no getting the drop on. Yeah, anybody. exactly. It's mano y mano. I think Snake would know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, like I don't know a lot about Metal Gear, obviously, mm-hmm. but I like what I know. I feel like Snake would, you know, be briefed on his assignment and he would know what he's getting into. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so he would know about Obi-Wan and like that sort of thing. So (laughs) he's just like, I'm facing a space wizard. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So real quick, before we go into this debate, uh, because I feel like you should take the side of Obi-Wan when with the actual battle and I'll take the side of solid snake. Sure. uh, And argue points for either or. Sure. I want to see what the chat thinks of who would win between Obi Wan Kenobi, specifically Revenge of the Sith Obi Wan. You know, having right before just dusting off Anakin. Should I create a poll? 
Yeah, create a poll. I want to see what what people's yeah. thoughts are before we go into this, and even even why when you vote, you know, put why in the comments underneath. All right, good. Uh, almost uh, typed out solid snake with a W. Oh, so <laughs> that's something that happened. But yeah, poll is up right now. All um, right, so go ahead and vote on that, you guys. Again, we record this live, so if you're listening now on Spotify, you can tune tune in on whatever day we decide usually it's fridays at twitch.tv slash the crown twitch and of course your simmons is at twitch.tv slash your simmons or no marky gamer yes. marky gamer no no i, ch I changed it to your simmons oh okay so twitch.tv slash your simmons see i just knew i just knew i was on that different yeah. wavelength you know i was on that next yeah. level ish uh, and you can participate and join in live. Of course, it goes up on YouTube and now Spotify, wherever you listen to your your preferred podcasts. Yeah. All right. So, so you know, if you're still on YouTube, that's cool too. That's we cool don't too. mind. Don't mind at all. <laughs> uh, so Loris, he says snake because he's a sneaky boy, but he can't do that. Jul Why did Julian says solid snake? No. Solid snake is taking it with a hundred percent. That's surprising to me. That's surprising to me as well. It's very surprising, also because I don't agree. But <laughs> <laughs> so okay, okay. Now I let's disrespectfully disagree. Now let's get into it. Let's 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 paint the scene. Okay. Obi Wan Kenobi shows up. Paint it, dude. Yeah. Yo, I got my brush out. All right, I'm dipping the paint. I'm cleaning off the canvas. Right, I'm Bob Ross. I'm taking a good look at it. I'm thinking about where I'm going to place that special calming bush. You know, you don't you don't make mistakes. They just become more bushes. So, Obi Wan Kenobi pulls up. You know, his sick ride, his Jedi Starfighter, lands yeah. at some bitch center of the arena, where Solid Snake is already standing, with a with a scowl on his face and finishing his last cigar, checking all of his ammo, all of his weaponry, making sure his Metal Gear is on standby. Of course, Anakin is up up in the crowd watching just in case he's needed at a moment's notice for his, his master. And what about Raiden, dude? Oh yeah. Raiden, Raiden's on the other side, possibly sitting next to the separatists. He might be there to assassinate one. We don't know at the moment. <laughs> you and think he's chilling there with Dooku? Mm, I think Dooku's dead at this point. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I think Dooku's he, 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 he dies at the start of Revenge of the Sith. So, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> so I think if anything, Anakin is holding Dooku's head. Uh it's like I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> gently in his lap, gently in his lap on the other side, and makes eye contact with Solid Snake and just swings his head back and forth by the hair and just gives him a look like, Yeah, watch your back. Okay. Anywho, okay. So <laughs> I think the fight starts, and you know Obi Wan's got a little quip. I don't know what it is, but he's a. He's he a just goes, "Hello there." <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, I don't know what Solid Snake says. I'm not even gonna uh, try to say it with his little sneaky little scowl. But I think Obi Wan comes in swinging with the saber, but Solid Snake disarms him right off the bat with his close combat. I don't know. I, I disagree with that right away. Why? Because Obi, like as we've talked about, Obi Wan's a defensive fighter. He wouldn't come in swinging. It's true. He never but, does. But somebody's got. I think. Okay. So I think. Well, in that case, it starts. Solid Snake pulls a gun. Obi Wan Kenobi blocks it with his lightsaber. Comes in yeah. for the counter swing, and that's when he gets disarmed by Solid Snake. And I think for a few moments, not long, but I think Solid Snake puts hands to Obi-Wan Kenobi and beats that ass. I mean, sure. A uh, couple kidney shots, maybe a cracked rib, possibly dislocated wrist. Uh, you don't want to be real close with Solid Snake. You don't want those hands. Sure. Uh, and where do you think it goes from there? How, how are you feeling about this so far? I mean, like I could, I could see like when it does like get close quarters, 
and uh, Obi Wan is disarmed. Mm-hmm. That Sal Sank would take it. I don't know how he would disarm him though. That's uh, do you want? I guess that is just open for interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Because I think that's very unbelievable. What that like? Yeah. So basically, inherently, Obi Wan Kenobi has a sword, and he's disarming someone with a sword. It's a lightsaber, dude. Yeah, but like, would take the light out of it for a second. Um, he's if he's close enough. If he gets in close enough, again, he's shot with the gun, blocks it. He comes in swinging. Snake dodges one, gets in close, comes around with a counter strike, grabs his wrist, yeah. disarms him. How does Snake disar- disarm him? I don't know. What? I, I can't. I can't. He's got a hold of his wrists. He does his fancy jujitsu close combat quarter training. I don't know what they call it in the games. I don't remember. But he does that and disarms him. Have you never seen someone get disarmed with like karate or whatever? Yes, I just don't think it would happen to Obi Wan Kenobi. Like that doesn't really happen to him. Okay, so they go back and forth and a little bit. I mean, I, I think he does. I think I think Solid Snake would be able to disarm Obi Wan Kenobi. I guess I I feel like I'm getting frustrated because you don't believe me, but I guess this is what we're here to argue about, right? <laughs> well, no, the thing is, like, I believe Snake could disarm Obi Wan Kenobi. I just want to, I just want you to explain how, and for that to be believable. Okay, he misses a swing, gets in close, like within a foot, so almost chest to chest. Grabs his arms, twists them, pops the one wrist, gives him an elbow to the face. He drops the lightsaber. He backs up. Okay. So if he then backs up, then Obi Wan just force pushes him the fuck away from him. Sure, sure. And then he pulls the lightsaber back to him. Okay. And he has it back. And I think that's when Raiden takes a shot from the stands. Is Raiden a fucking sniper? Yeah, he can be. Sure, he's a fucking assassin. Oh, I thought I thought he was a fucking samurai. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he can. Okay, he throws a sword. What do you want from me? He's used a gun. I've okay. Used, I've used a sniper okay. rifle with him before. Okay. Dude, I just didn't know. <laughs> All I know from Raiden is revenge, dude. Okay. Like, you have to understand. <laughs> so so he takes a shot, and I think that's good. Like, okay. So, involved. Yeah. I agree. I think, like, Raiden taking a shot, like, Obi-Wan would block it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, then Anakin gets involved. But Anakin would probably just, like, jump in there. Or, like, we, or do you think he would go after Raiden? I think he goes after Ryan. Here's, yeah, I think so too. Because Anakin, like, obviously, like, is a warrior mm-hmm. first and foremost. Uh so he he probably has like he probably has like a weird honor code. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. Where he's just like, okay, like the snake, like that's Obi Wan's battle, but I'll take care of Raiden so that like it won't bother. Obi Wan, yeah, you know what I mean, like that kind of thing, which is like I feel like is a very Jedi way to go about it, and like at that time, Anakin still fully a Jedi, yeah, yeah, you know? and a hundred percent, and also, so, yeah, from Solid Snake's point, they're not there with some honor code; they're not warriors; they're assassins. They're there to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Ryan's just like, hey, yeah, I don't. I mean, like, here's the thing: like, we know Obi Wan when it comes down to it. Honors out the window. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he'll like he'll like fucking use the use a blaster to kill General Grievous. You know he doesn't give a fuck. Right in the organs. If like if it gets down to the nitty gritty, he'll do it. You know what I mean? Is that dishonorable but, though? Is that like against the Jedi <laughs> code to yeah. use a blaster? No, but it's uncivilized. All right. But I I mean like just to show that like when push comes to shove, he will do what is necessary. Yeah, he'll get dirty. He'll he'll grab a ball yeah, or two. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So Anakin Anakin's like, no, he throws, you know, homeboy's head down, force jumps yes. over to, to Raiden's side, cuts off a limb or two. Raiden's still alive. I think he puts up a bit of a fight, but I think I think Anakin I think Anakin gets him. Yeah, I think so too. I don't think Raiden dies because, you know, we've seen his limbs get cut off and stuff like that and he ends up all right. But he I- He's definitely I mean, like Era of Vengeance, he's pretty much like 90% robot. So yeah, he's definitely out of the picture. Yeah. So, but the thing is, like, this uh, was probably like then a momentary distraction for Obi-Wan. Yeah. Which 
get create an opening for snake. So what does snake do? Hmm. Does he use like a fucking smoke grenade or some shit? Like I don't know what the fuck snake does. I think he depends. What was the position? Oh yeah, he was on the back pedal. So I think he used a smoke grenade or some kind of distraction, flashbang, whatever, to get out of Obi Wan's immediate sight. To maybe, yeah. uh, if anything, I think he gets into Obi Wan's Jedi fighter. Oh, okay. I think I think Snake is going about this smart. I think he's like, yeah, close combat like is not good. Like Homeboy is uh, a samurai space wizard. I need to create distance. I need to shoot. So I think he gets into the Jedi space fighter. I think he brings that shit in the air, and I think he just starts laying down shots. Okay. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. I think Obi Wan's on the run. I think he's he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Uh, I think Obi Wan is deflecting shots while looking for cover. Yeah, I agree with that. And then I think from the stands, Anakin jumps onto the fighter. I don't think it goes that far. I think Obi Wan calls to his droid that's still attached to the ship and tells him to like eject Snake. Oh, that could that could work as well. Which one do you think is more likely? We'll we'll go with either one. I th I think honestly, like, uh, if if like Snake is gonna get in and pilot it anyway, yeah. Like, obviously, like the droid is loyal to Obi Wan as well, mm -hmm. so it would like do something immediately. So if we're gonna go with that scenario, then I think the Anakin option is more likely. Okay. Now it's just like, oh, the droid's been compromised. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's just Snake doing it, and then like Anakin jumps on, and just like fucks it up. Yeah. <laughs> I think upon, I, 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 yeah, I think upon like jumping on, like he just like jams his basically like his lightsaber through the fucking controls and stuff, and just like kind of just blows up the engine. Fair enough. Yeah, you know I mean, I think that's when Snake jettisons, and that's when he calls in a Metal Gear. Sure. And to, to pile into that, maybe upon arrival, that Metal Gear is taking shots at Anakin to make him, maybe take him out of the picture for a bit. Yeah, maybe like both Anakin and Obi Wan, like then have to go for cover. You yeah. Know, after, like, I think it, I think it gets a shot. I think, Metal Gear. <laughs> I think the Metal Gear gets a shot off at, uh, at Anakin and it hits him. I don't think it kills him, but it stuns him. Maybe, maybe takes him out. No. 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 Are you looking up Metal Gear right now? Yeah. I feel like it's in some of our previous links on this thing. No, is it? No, there's a Did picture. You, you mean Metal Gear Ray or? Yeah, Metal Gear Ray. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's. I, I think it's just like I, th I think Obi Wan found like a rock or whatever to fucking hide behind. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were gonna yeah, say. Yeah, no, but like something to get cover. Yeah, I mean, I think Anakin just joins him there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, for one, Solid Snake isn't the one sneaking. He's in the Metal Gear Ray. He's searching around. He's he's taking shots at things. He's trying to find them. He's having trouble. Uh, I feel like I feel like the Force is where it, I feel feel like the Force has to come into play here now. Don't you think? I feel like maybe the clones come into play. The clones? <laughs> yeah. So the clones are coming to help General Kenobi is what you're saying. Yeah. So he, he evolves. In the middle of this fight, he evolves from Obi-Wan Kenobi to General Kenobi. I mean, he's been General Kenobi the entire time. It's like it's Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith. Uh, fair enough, fair so enough. He's General Kenobi the entire time. So the drones start coming I, in their I, ships. I, they start unloading. Other Metal Gear show up. It's a fucking hellhound of a fucking battle going on right now. Yeah. It's pretty much Clone Wars all over again. Yeah. Do you think do you think fucking Anakin whips out the 501st as well? Like he he brings out his legion of clones or is that too much? Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's too much cuz again it's not his fight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah fair enough. So the 501st and so, yeah. Anakin, Anakin back off. Metal Gear is fighting, yeah. you know, I mean, Anakin. Anakin's still there. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's but. still there. But now he's joining the like General Kenobi's uh, general allegiance of clones to fight off the Metal Gears. Yeah, 
Metal uh, Solid Snake's Metal Gear Ray gets gets shot down. Yeah, I, I yeah. So it's back <laughs> to just Snake and Obi Wan. Yep. Basically, like like the the rest is like fighting with each other, right? They're yeah. Preoccupied. Yeah. Explosions going on around Here's them. The thing, People are getting though, shot like, down. And go ahead. Um. Yeah. I said go ahead. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> you cut out for me for a second. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, like, like here's the thing. Like, I think uh, because like both have like not sustained heavy damage. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like Obi Wan got tagged a little bit in the beginning. You know, like Snake got forced pushed into a fucking wall. Yeah. You know, which I'm assuming would like fuck him up more than like the tagging would do to Obi Wan. It's yeah. still like. Snake's been through worse. Obi Wan's yeah, got yeah. a limp wrist. Solid Snake is gasping for breath. Yeah, and the thing is, as well, like, but Snake has had to be like way more active. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like going in and out of fucking planes and Metal Gears and shit blowing up yeah. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Whereas, like Obi Wan, for the most part, has been hiding. So, I, also, I would assume the Force. Gives Obi Wan better stamina overall. Sure, sure. So I would say Obi Wan has a slight advantage here. So this is how I like f- f- just from like basically like physical fitness standpoint. So this is this is how I see it going, and it's a lot how it like it did in the beginning. So what happens is uh, Snake is a, is jettisoned from a Metal Gear, and he kind of com- comes tumbling yeah. down, and over and over in his peripherals, you know, of the vision. Yeah, using them eyes, he sees he sees Obi Wan blocking some shots from some Metal Gears. He's he's deflecting things with his lightsaber. So Solid Snake finally has a has a chance to sneak up on him. It doesn't quite work. I don't agree with that. Okay, because we just agreed that like it would just be the two of them. I guess. Oh, that's true. Okay, so he's just in doubt. <laughs> he sees that Obi Wan's not concerned with everything else. Everybody's fighting amongst themselves. Uh, they're squaring up. And if, in that case, because I was gonna, I was doing that to give Snake some shots in, uh, to get him get to to beat Obi Wan's ass a little bit till Obi Wan uses the Force to back him up. But if if Obi Wan sees him from the start and he's got his lightsaber again, then I see it going a lot like the Obi Wan Kenobi Jango Fett fight. Is it Jango? All right, explain. Is it Jango or Boba? Which one's the son, son or dad? Django's the dad. Django's the dad. The so, Django Fed, if you guys aren't familiar with that, is they meet on the clone manufacturing planet, and you know, Camino. Camino. He's he's he shoots his grenades. He sh- takes a couple shots, but once once he's grounded, he's doing a couple shots. Obi Wan blocks a couple, and he pretty much cuts off his head. Like, uh, well, not necessarily, because. What 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 you're saying is right. Like it does happen, mm-hmm. but Django gets his head cut off on Geonosis by Mace Windu. Huh. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's right. Django gets away on. Oh uh, fuck. Huh. I remember that wrong. Hmm. Well, let's just say it's the Mandela effect. Yeah. <laughs> in, in my universe, that's what happened. Here, here, here's the thing, though. Like, because, you know, Raiden's out of it. Like, mm-hmm. he does, like, Snake's kind of out of resources as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he's already used, like, a flashbang and this and that. You know, what else can he have on his fucking tool belt? Mm-hmm. You know? And the thing is, I honestly think, like, with the way Obi Wan fights, uh, he, like, he would, like, Take the defensive stance. Yeah, I mean, Mm -hmm. like do the fucking where he puts the saber like next to his head and points the two fingers out. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, The daddy pose. Yeah. And then I think because I think he would like he would be up, whereas Snake would be more down because he just like you said, you just fucking jettison out of the Metal Gear. Mm -hmm. Um, And then Snake would like reach for like a gun or some something. Yeah, I mean. And Obi Wan, like with the Force, would disarm him, and then he would, you know, try to convince Snake 
to surrender peacefully. And then Snake's just like, no, no, dog, I got a fucking mission. Is that how Snake talks? I don't know. <laughs> he definitely doesn't. He definitely doesn't. But he tries to get in close one more time, and then Obi-Wan cuts him down. That's how I envision it. Hmm. All right. Something I didn't think of before. In Metal Gear Solid 3, now granted you're playing as Big Boss, not Solid Snake, but that's who is cloned after. Yeah. From the very beginning, you're given a false cyanide pill to take. So I think instead of surrendering and being captured, Snake takes that and plays dead, which lowers Obi-Wan Kenobi's guard. He gets close to check Snake, make sure he's gone. Checks his pulses. He's gone. Goes to back up. And then using the four senses that, oh, wait, no, something's not right. As Snake goes to get up, Obi-Wan goes to bring up the lightsaber. He fights him off a little bit. He gets a couple shots in. Obi-Wan backs him up and then, you know, fucking cuts him down. Yeah, that works too. I think I think no matter how you put this, I think I think it's it's pretty clear in how we've built this and how we've looked at everything and the the cases that we were having having trouble making uh that I think Obi-Wan takes this. Yeah, I agree. Uh I don't I don't know anyone who would who would disagree with us. I'm not sure if anyone is still left at the end of this <laughs> except everybody that voted on the poll. That's true, but one of them was but- May. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did not vote. But the poll. as most of our podcasts go live, there's relatively no one left listening. So I don't think there's anyone to disagree with yes. us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yes, but I agree with that. I think at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that just Obi Wan's overall experience, patience. And supernatural abilities <laughs> just get the best of everyone. So it, it and Snake is no different. So it turns out that Obi Wan Kenobi is the hero that the Disney universe needed, and he has cut down Solid Snake here in the finals of our hero tournament. The streak is over. Well, as in, as in Solid Snake's Disney killing streak. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, let's let's don't feel bad for Solid Snake because that Mulan death was gruesome. <laughs> he used his bare yeah. hands, and like it wasn't personal. But I mean, granted, like Snake had a hell of a run. He did. You know? He did. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mulan. Uh, let me get that new pad back out here. Uh, <laughs> Hercules, he killed he killed a god. Hercules. He killed a demigod. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's, a demigod. That's like, nothing like second place. I mean you're dead, but second place is nothing to be ashamed of besides the fact you're dead. Yeah. But But you know. Hmm. Obi Wan cradled him while he died. That's true. Because he's a nice guy. Yeah. He's like you were a valiant warrior. Yeah. You were a worthy opponent. Even though you are not Snack A. Snack A. Even though you are not a universal galactic space wizard such as myself. You're also not a galactic threat. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. You're kind of a space. domestic issue. <laughs> <laughs> to that planet. I don't know why they brought me in. Yeah. But... <laughs> you you're kind of just a problem for that planet Earth, but <laughs> So, we don't really do business with them anyway. We don't like <laughs> yeah, them. They're in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. But honestly, AJ, I'm also impressed that we managed to fill nearly an hour with this. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, actually. I, in fact, I'm like trying to wrap it up because I, I, I got to go. Fair enough. But yeah. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and listening to the the tournament, especially the ones that we pre-filmed while I was away. Uh, really appreciate that. They've actually people have been really checking them out on the YouTube. Uh, YG Julian says congratulations, the obvious winner, which is even better at sneaking than Solid Snake. <laughs> um, but I mean, there's the episode in the Clone Wars where Obi Wan goes undercover. That's true. So that's true. 
But anyway, how do you, how do you know AJ? You haven't seen it. I'm just agreeing with you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, I, think I appreciate that. Be a bad bad co-host if I was just like, no, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know of this. No, I haven't seen it, so I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I have I have not seen these fictional recordings. You should watch Clone Wars. Though. I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah, it's on it's the it's good. on the to do. Thank you. But. Anyway, thank you everybody for tuning in and watching these again. We are now available on Spotify and soon iTunes and wherever you like to subscribe and or listen to podcasts. Please hit subscribe or follow whatever the button indicates. Give a five-star review and we'll be able to get like sponsors and stuff and we'll be able to like have a reason to maybe be a little bit more organized and we'll do more tournaments because people seem to like that. Yeah. And... yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, Yeah, like the more like people like support the podcast, the more like you know time and effort we can put into it yeah obviously because right now it's something we do for so, fun for us and some people suggested it but like you know the more and more popular it gets the more and more we can kind of bring it to the forefront and maybe dedicate a little bit more time from our streams to this yeah absolutely yeah. so you know but but that but that was the thing as well like all like all fucking fun and jokes aside uh about me telling people to shut the fuck up about their with their opinions <laughs> uh <laughs> like that kind of stuff is actually really good and we like we really appreciate that because because like i've like i've been i guess like monitoring it as well that like uh these these like past two podcasts with the with the hero tournament have actually like been viewed more than the other podcasts yeah uh before that so and then more comments that, and like, stuff like i was does, well yeah. I, while i was away i was reading people were really like oh well what about this what about this version or this yeah and that's very helpful yeah i i, I saw people like react to it like more on twitter and like that sort of stuff as well so like that gives us us an idea about like stuff to do as well and it gives us extra in incentive mm -hmm. to put more effort into this stuff too so yeah that is all very much appreciated just so you guys know and again thank you for bearing with us uh on our first podcast back in like two and a half weeks or something like that uh yes very very thankful for that uh but yeah so we're gonna wrap it up for today uh we're gonna say bye bye to our standard bye byes and then we'll pause for a second i'll probably raid somebody and yeah catch us uh this will go up on thursday on spotify and on the youtube uh which is tomorrow and of course there, we won't be filming one this friday because urine will be away so we'll film one early next week for release later in the week or something like that and and yeah we'll we'll put the back up the poll for suggestions and we'll be back in the swing of things yeah we'll figure something out yeah all right Thanks, everybody. Thanks, and never forget Obi-Wan Kenobi number one. One. One.